What is the difference between managed and unmanaged code? So I get this one a lot. Um, unmanaged code is what we had historically mm -hmm. going back in time. Um, and it was kind of the wild west of programming. So when we have unmanaged code, mm -hmm. when the program starts, the operating system just points it at the start of the program and says, good luck, hope everything works out. And uh, it's up to the program to eventually talk back to the operating system and to end and shut down correctly. Mm -hmm. In managed code, really easy to contrast, um, it's not just given free reign to, to run amok. There's some intermediary program that is interpreting the code and making sure it adheres to the rules when it's running. So managed code can be checked for security. So it can't do things that right. that program isn't authorized to do. Um, you could, you've seen managed code anytime you run a program and it says, do you wish to give this application permission to do mm -hmm. this? You can't do that with unmanaged code. Yeah, are there any examples of unmanaged code? Absolutely, um, there's still a lot of programming languages that only make unmanaged code. Mm -hmm. um, matter of fact, anything before 20 years ago, I don't think managed code was even a thing. Yeah. Um, so now more and more programming is going to managed, and you take a little bit of a performance hit for that. Um, but the trade-off is that you have um, some oversight that's running when that program's running to make sure that it does what it's supposed to do, that it um, doesn't talk to memory that it's not allowed to talk to, that it doesn't access files that it's not allowed to talk to, that it doesn't access uh, cameras or GPS positions or anything like that. Um, and it also means that if the program does run amok, that the operating system can safely shut it down. So there's nothing where it's, this part of C-sharp is unmanaged, this part of C-sharp is managed. C-sharp is managed just all around. Uh, yeah, C-sharp is out of the box a managed programming language. Uh, is other, like, so is JavaScript, I mean, is Java unmanaged? Java, as far as I know, is unmanaged. So, um, so when they're asking, this, so, some of these might be a little bit of a hybrid, right? Uh, so when they're asking these questions, what's the kind of what's the what's the buzzword keyword you want to kind of point out? Do you want to point out a, mm. this language is unmanaged and this one's managed, or C sharp is managed, and or do you not want to compare it at all? Do you want to kind of how do you want? If we're talking just about C sharp, mm -hmm. I would say the overarching idea is that it is a supervised program. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of a good buzzword for that, but that's the best way I can explain it. Do you want to talk about CLR, Common line, uh, Language Runtime? Is that something you'd want to... You might dip into in? that. So most programming languages, when they compile, um, they compile into native code. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of managed languages, C Sharp being one of them, does not. It compiles from C-sharp or whatever your .NET language is mm -hmm. into that IL code. Um, sometimes it goes by a couple of different Good names what, what is IL code? <laughs> uh, it means the IL is intermediary language or intermediate language. Um, you might hear it called MSIL. You might have, hear it called the uh, common language runtime is a little different, but it's in that same neighborhood. It's close enough that we can call it a right. synonym for this video. Um, we're compiling it to this intermediary code that will then be picked up at runtime and compiled to the native code. And do you want to kind of say that managed code is, is a big part of the managed code is the VB or uh, like the .NET framework. So C sharp and VB or is that not really part of this question? Well, within regards to this question, the main advantage of the intermediary code, intermediary mm -hmm. language is that at the time that we go to run the program, mm -hmm. um, the host computer gets a chance to kind of inspect that code and understand what it's doing before it actually makes the final conversion to the native code. Gotcha. So it gets that, that one final chance to uh, check it out and make sure it's safe and that it isn't doing anything it shouldn't be doing. So a couple things we want to know. Definitely no IL, intermediate language, common runtime language, or common language runtime. Yep. And the common language runtime is the is the 
the converter that's taking it that last And mile. I think we have another interview question about that later on. Yeah, we've got a few other ones. Yeah, so. but this one is just really know that C-sharp is managed and kind of just a little bit about that, right? Yeah, know you take a little bit of a performance hit for it being managed, um, but having it handle a lot of things for you like your memory and your security and having it take care of that is well worth it. Yeah. Thank you for watching that video from F12 Programming. Please remember to like and subscribe. That does so much for us in the ratings. You have no idea. Also, don't forget to comment below. I hope you enjoyed and good luck coding.